hello good evening all today in this video we are going to discuss about how to create graph view in odoo so graph view comes under the advanced views in odoo so in advanced views we have graph view and pivot view so we have already have discussed regarding different views like tree view form view search view calendar view and kanban view now in this video we are going to discuss about the graph view so before going directly into the development i'll just go to the sales module and if i go to the sales menu here you can see we have got different views here so tree view we have already discussed this is kanban view that also we have shown how to create and here we have got calendar view so that's also we have shown last week how to create a calendar view and here we have pivot view so yet we haven't shown how to create a pivot view so we are already make the video we will publish it soon and if i go to graph view so this is the view that i'm talking about this is the graph view here you can see this is the bar graph if i place the mouse over here you can see this is bar chart and if i change here you can see you will get line graph and finally you will get the pie chart so let's see how we can create such a view inside our module that is om hospital so if i go to the hospital menu we have got the appointment appointments menu where we have created calendar view and here we have tree view and here we have the pivot view so this pivot view i will show you later how to create it so let's see how we can create graph view so if i go to the pie charm and if i open the corresponding module that is i will go to the audit tool and if i go to custom path here we have got om hospital which is our custom module so i will go to the views folder and i will just open appointment.xml where we have defined appointment menu so here you can see this is the appointment menu that we are talking about the name is appointments and here you can see this is the menu so under this menu we will add one more view that is graph view so first of all we will define uh, the graph view so for creating graph view what i will do is that i will just search inside the existing code so find in path and if i search for graph inside the odoo code graph okay here you have got stock module and i'll just copy this the pivot view sorry the graph view of purchase dot report so I'll just copy this I'll select it and control C and I will paste it inside our module so here we have defined this is the tree view of the appointments and this is the calendar view of the appointments so here I will just place the copied code from the purchase module so I'll just correct the indentations so I'll just correct the indentations and I'll, I'll just rename the ID also I'll just rearrange the order control X and I will paste it ID first so I have to rename the ID of the record so we have named the calendar as appointment calendar and we have named the form as appointment form so we will name the graph as appointment graph so that's done now we have to update the name so I'll just copy the hospital dot appointment which is our model name so you have to specify the model name here that is hospital dot appointment that is our model so if you check here you can see in the url you can see the model name is hospital dot appointment so from the url or from edit search view so this is the color view from edit view calendar you can get the model name that is hospital dot appointment so i have just paste the model name here <coughs> in the hospital dot model name and in the name you have to update so i'll just update the name as hospital dot appointment dot graph so that's done and inside this here we can see graph so earlier in the calendar we have defined uses using calendar tag and for the form we used form tag now for the graph view we will use graph tag and inside the string i'll just give the name as appointment graph appointment appointment graph so that's given and inside this what i will do is that i'll just remove these lines we have to specify okay so before going into this i'll do one thing so for making this video i have already added a new field inside the appointment so if i open one of the appointments from here you can see i have added a new field total amount just a float field where we have to enter the value manually so i have just not anything written like something like compute function just a float field to enter the total amount of the or total fees of the appointment so this is the field that is total amount so i'll do one thing so i'll just explain the same thing after we get the graph view amount and here i will give patient id so that's done 
so that's why one of the field is given as amount and another field is given as patient id with type equal to measure is given so we have built the graph view now we have to specify this graph view inside the action of the manuals the view won't be visible so after putting comma i'll just add graph here so we have added the graph to the action of the menu so that's done now what we have to do is that we have to upgrade the module to see the changes so i'll go to the apps menu and from the apps menu i'll just upgrade the Odoo development tutorials so let's wait until the module has got upgraded so wait so you can see the module is getting loading so what we have done is we have just copied an existing graph view from purchase module and we have changed its id name is updated model is given correctly that is hospital load appointment and inside the graph we have specified two fields that is one is amount which is the new field that i have entered and another one is the patient id with type equal to measure is given and i have added the new view inside the corresponding menu action so if i go to the ui you can see the module has got upgraded successfully there is no any issues so i'll go to the hospital menu and then to the appointments so here you can see a new view has been get added view graph so if i click on it you can see you are getting this is if you place the mouse here you can see bar chart and if i switch to this line chart and if i switch to pie diagram you can see this so what i have done is in the x axis so right now here we have getting the amount so what i have given is gone wrong opposite so i'll just rearrange it so if i scroll up and i will put amount as measure and patient id here patient id patient id so i'll just update the module once more so right now you can see the amount of the appointment is coming as x-axis so we need patients here and we need to see their amounts here so i'll go to the apps menu once again and i'll just upgrade the module so from here i will just upgrade the module so if you haven't got this module you can just download it from the odoo app store by searching odoo mates or you can just directly download it from our github repository that is if you search odoo mates you can see a odoo development tutorials repository so from there you can download the modules so you can see the module is still loading okay the module has got upgraded successfully now we will go to the appointment menu again from hospital appointments and i will go to the graph view so here you can see in the x-axis you are getting the patients so if i open in another tab so here if i open these patients here so we have around one two three seven total if i switch to list view we can see we have around eight patients inside our database so from this menu i'll just go to the appointments graph view so in the x-axis you can see the patients like oru dev james matt alan subscribe to the channel etc all the patients here these patients and in the y-axis you can see those amounts so here you can see we have invoiced or the james has been conducted total invoice that is total amount of his appointment is 80 sorry 90 so if you place the mouse over here you can see total amount 90 so what i will just confirm it i'll just go to appointments and i will filter the appointments of james add custom filter where is patient or i'll just group by patients add custom group where is patient yes if i group by patients apply you can see james total sorry i cannot get the total from the tree view so i have to go to the tree view itself so here you can see it's 10 so we have to count 10 10 plus 50 60 0 60 itself 0 and 30 so total is 90 that what we are seeing here inside the graph so if you check the mat the total amount of his appointment is 20 so let's check for the mat where is mat so if i close this and if you go to the mat here you can see his total is 20 plus 0 20 itself plus 0 so total is 20 so in the graph view you can see the total of mat is 20 so let's create one more appointment for the mat or let's change its value here so i'll give the mat value to 80 so the total of the mat should be 80 plus 20 now let's re reload the graph view to see the change so you can see mat amount is changed to 
100 so like that we can get detailed analysis from the graph view and if i switch to line chart you can see another here james 90 when it comes to mat it's increased to 100 and if i go to allen it's decreased to zero so like that you can get the data analytics of the data so if you don't want to get the amount and if you want to get the count you can just click on here so here you can see how much appointments they have taken so james has taken total five appointments and if i go to the mat he has got three appointments like that so i'll just switch to, switch to total amount itself and if you go to the pie chart you can see the value so matt has got 53 and james has got 47 and if you don't want to see some patients you can just remove it from here or you can just change it to necessary things suppose like this so right now by default you can see when we have added the graph view by default the gra which graph come line chart suppose if we need to by default pie chart has to come in the code here you can give type equal to pi so once you give type equal to pi by default pi view pie chart will be shown so let's upgrade the module to see the change so if we click on the appointments and if it comes to graph view by default right now we are seeing bar chart as we have given type equal to pi here next after updating the module we will get pie chart by default so let's go to the apps menu and upgrade the module so if you feel our videos are helpful for you you can just click the like button and subscribe the channel to get notified regarding all the upcoming videos and you can also refer the channel to your friends so they also will get benefited with the videos so let's wait until the module has got loaded so you can see it's loading so the module has been loaded so what we have changed is right now we have to get the pie chart as the default view so i'll go to the hospital and then to the appointments and if i switch change to the graph view you can see right now the pie chart is coming by default so that's the use of giving type equal to pi so if you need to group by something group by page, something like that you can just do it or if you need to filter some particular value like age is equal to 10 like that you can use the search view also here you can see if i need something like add custom group like doctor you can see undefined matthew so here you can see the matthew doctor with the name matthew has got 130 total amount and rest is zero so if i go to the appointments and i'll just for the purpose of this video i have just added a new field here that is doctor so i'll just assign james here so earlier when we had checked the appointments graph and group by doctor we have only one value so right now if i again group by doctor doctor and apply you will have three values that is one is undefined and another one is james matthew and undefined so this is how you can create a graph view in odoo so that's all about this video if you like the video please do click the like button and subscribe to the channel to get notified regarding upcoming videos so we will be back with the next video of how to create pivot view in odoo so that's it thank you